Welcome everyone to the social van Feeling Kyle sick of the bullshit So here they are, Rep and C Plus Ready to turn every podcast to dust So sit down and shut the fuck up Cause when and now, fuck your couch Welcome everybody to the social van Yeah Cause they don't want to look prejudiced And that's Disney for you Goddamn Disney's is doing their bullshit again. But Taika's indigenous. He's indigenous, but he ain't black. God damn it. <laughs> Do you get it now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Big Daddy here for Big Daddy Forever. And can be also he and he for C Plus Studios and, and, and Paper Saber Productions. And guess what? <laughs> Someone asked, guys, <laughs> someone asked me about Paper Saber Productions, like because they saw it on the starting of the documentary, documentary, the documentary, Azuligan Boys. Um, yeah, the, uh, a Paper Saber Production, Paper Saber in general is in. It's my. It's a callback to my childhood because I was very poor, and also to the fact that you know I couldn't afford the actual licensed lightsabers, so I would use paper. I would use um, uh, gift, you know, the wrapping paper and all that to make lightsabers. Oh, oh shit! The cardboard tube. That shit was hilarious. Yes, dear. Hi. How you doing? Would you like to say hi? Hi. This is Kathy for uh, C Plus Studios. I wish. Um, I could. There is more snack me's. <laughs> oh, uh, you got called out. Uh, the reason why there's not many more snack me's, thanks, kid, um, is, be- <laughs> is because of the fact that there's just too many weirdos out there, man. And there's certain points where I saw certain comments that on the snack me's, and just you know, it just freaks me out to the point to where I don't think I want to put her on camera until I feel like. I feel comfortable with it, you know? No, I'm blaming you. There's a bunch of nasty little motherfuckers out there. And the thing is, though, a lot of folks think it's it's men who are being nasty like that. A lot of times it's women. They, 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 they'll they make an account where sound, they sound like men, but there's a lot of shit that's been happening lately with, with women doing this nasty shit, too. So you, you, get, you, got, you got to be careful. You just goddamn window. I left that son of a bitch wide open, huh? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm getting interviewed right now. Sure. As, as part of the growing indigenous community who is doing <laughs> documentary here in Flagstaff, Arizona, how do you feel about your potential come up and and said no documentary hula baloob? Not the hula baloob. Nothing but the hula baloob. Um. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I think in the indigenous community needs a little bit more representation in the Hoobaloob area because the Hoobaloob area is very important yes, <laughs> to uh, the whole community here. Um, but about the Hoobaloob, I'm actually writing a movie based on yes. my indigenous culture. There will be sex in the movie. Um, <laughs> it's a it's a dark comedy that I'm calling a uh, Res Rat. Right, right. Oh, yes, ma'am. Can I help you? You can come in. Yes. Um. Shit, I'm about to come back in the chair. What? Uh, can I make? <laughs> she is whispering sweet nothings into that old ear as if she wants to go eat and have a snack <laughs> and have some and a glass of milk. <laughs> You, uh, were you playing Sims? The Sims? You know that's all. That's all Minecraft is. Minecraft is Sims in an ugly form. There's no boobs or booty. <laughs> There's no immature shit like that. They have to do you no. Know, they have to do rated, beyond rated G stuff. It's cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. 
okay, okay, you have a baloo, whatever you're saying, it's, it's old, it's getting old, it's like that word yesterday, it's just so hard for me to even say the word yesterday, or treason, or any of those things, fake news, it's all it is, and I gotta tell you, I'm craving a cheeseburger. So the yellow guy is craving something yellow in between with the people of beef and bread, yes? Excuse me. No, I have a very nice, prestigious orange tan. I ain't yellow. I don't understand these this people. Is yellow. You're, I mean, you're orange. You're spray tan. When you sweat, you can see the outline coming down from the side of your forehead, boy. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> I've seen that on his interviews a few times when he's done that shit. He's, it's like, <laughs> he's a damn choke. Hold on, hold on. What you Choking on the cum bubble. It's all right, folks. <laughs> no, I've, I've seen him a few times in his interviews where he's sweating, and you can see, like, the little orange, like, the streak going down the side of his, his face. It's like his, his lawyer. Remember his lawyer was sweat like a damn slave on the stage, and because he was caught up, and he had that the uh, the hair stuff in his head, like the the black. <laughs> and he looked like he was sweating fucking ooze. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, you know, you know, I I went back uh, to our old podcast when we used to talk so much shit, uh, especially about politics and stuff. And I I kind of missed that aspect of talking about it because remember what did Stephen call us? He said we were. Two people of color speaking on what we're seeing from our views and not the white perspective of what you see like on a Fox News and stuff like that. Yeah. And I still believe that's that's a really cool fucking concept. Like, you know, but the show always must go on, and this is why we're on Big Daddy Forever. And Big Daddy Forever podcast is one of my favorite podcasts. Also, you need to check out crazyhoodies.com with a Z. Crazyhoodies.com with a Z. Go check that out. And if you are subscribed to the C Plus Studios feed, you get Big Daddy Forever. You get the sexy ninja cast. You get all these great and sexy things. But also, too, you want to know what? Check out the YouTube channel, Big Daddy of C Plus Studios. What is that again? Uh... Okay, I got it. I'm on this show, and I had to do his own fucking plugs. Oh, 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 to find <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Big Daddy and C Plus Studios. Big Daddy and C Plus Studios coming together. God damn it. YouTube channel. <laughs> on the YouTube channel. I'm sorry, folks. I was trying to find something. <laughs> he just caught me off guard. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, I got okay, what? What's that? <laughs> Dude, we're talking about what the fuck? See, I don't even know what the hell I was looking for now. I was gonna find something on YouTube. <laughs> what was I here? You, I, I was like, you know what? Let's not, let me be nice and so kind and plug your business of crazyhoodies.com and this and that and try to support your YouTube channel. And all of a sudden, you just give me, huh? I, <laughs> big head, bald boy. That's right. Oh, sweating your what? Well, sweating not sweating. See that sweating your balls off? No, like sweating. Uh, what was what was his lawyer's name? Sweaty balls off. Sweaty balls off. Gugi Gugliano G I U. Bruh. And she just gave you a bruh. Bruh. That's right, bruh. Sweaty. Sweaty balls. Oh wait, Ma wait. Oh, Giuliani. I, you know, I forgot. Was he his lawyer? He was his lawyer. Because look at the it says, Trump lawyer Gi Giuliani lies and sweats through chaotic presser the eleventh hour. And this fool looked like he was like sweating, like just straight ooze coming off his damn forehead. Like he had just drink a like a whole bunch. Of, look at it. Look at that shit. Like he had just drink some chocolate milk and he look at he sweating like a slave. Look at him, just sweating like a damn. Well, wow, 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 wow. What's going on? Like he's gargling a dick. He's like, oh, 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 oh. yes, 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 Mr. Trump. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, Mr. Trump. Oh, oh, oh. I can only take four inches so much. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, tastes like a carrot. Oh, 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 oh. How would you know about all that? Ladies and gentlemen, crazyhoodies.com with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Folks, he just like really got caught up. That was payback for what he just did to my ass right now, too. So. <laughs> This is gonna be on the. I don't know. Let's do a, this is the so. I was like, damn. Let's do a social event. I just turn on the microphone. Oh, we're just like, this is a social event. Hell, why not? Shit, I just turn on the microphone. I just wanted to test this to show you how how it was done. Actually, folks, we're recording on the phone right now. Uh, I got my. Back to the phone. I got my Samsung Q two U USB microphone with uh, the C attachment that goes into your phone, and we're using High Q Premium. I mean Pro. Yes, all those free plugs, and we ain't getting no fucking money for this. But it's okay. I, I got something for you. I got something for you. So real quick, because people want to know our perspective with Marvel and the, the San Diego Comic-Con yes, that happened. Yes. Okay, so I got to tell you, them motherfuckers came out swinging with their dicks. Kevin yes, Kevin Feige was not playing the fuck around. He's like, here's our dick. See it swinging? See it swinging? Oh, you got that little Shazam movie, huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, you got that little Black Adam movie too, huh? Oh, I'm going to show you something. Phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five, phase six. When you show me right now phase five, well, phase six, I knew I knew about phase five, but phase six, three movies, Fantastic Four, two Avenger movies. Damn. And what the and you, you know Kevin Feige was probably like, ah, bitches, you've had more canceled movies than you've actually made. That's some shit. I mean, what? Batgirl got canceled. Uh Batgirl is still on. Oh, Batgirl. I apologize, folks. Batgirl is still on. I know the new the Birds of Prey, that's up in the air now. Uh, Di- Discovery came in and they just pretty much said, "Just, just pump, pump your brakes. We're gonna make some movies, but we're gonna make what we want to make." And Blue I, Beetle's still in the works. Blue Beetle's still in the work. Okay. I think they just got done filming. D- oh shit! I can't wait for this one. This is gonna be cool. Um, let's see. I know Blue Beetle's wrapped up. I know that uh, Batgirl's finished and in the can. Uh, the Flash movie I heard is still going to get a theatrical release, but they're not going to be pushing it as much because of the controversy with Ezra Miller. And they have officially said they have they are doing nothing with the Snyderverse, especially the controversy that came out that the Snyderverse or the, the Snyder Cut fans was a fucking lie because they found a bunch of bots that actually were pushing that agenda for the Snyder Cut to be made. So as of right now, yeah, uh, so it was a bunch of bots that uh, made that movement happen. Well, shit. Goddamn. But you know what, though? We still got it. <laughs> or are they just mad that a bunch of bots got the movie to be re-released in the original form it was supposed to be in, and the some bitch was popular? Are they, are they mad about that, Mr. KMB? Oh, they're mad about everything. Everyone's mad about everything. It's like if someone's probably calling us out right now. Oh, look at this big head boy talking about news. You don't understand and talking about this and talking about that because we gotta go talk about your shit. Blah 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 blah. Y'all are worse than Tom fucking McDonald. Yeah, I said that right. You're worse than Tom fucking McDonald. Bunch of fucking hypocrites. God damn, dude. Why can't we just enjoy things and have things nice in this uh, family? I saw that you're pointing at right now. Is that real? Okay, folks, I, just, I came across a trailer right now. Harry Potter, we're on YouTube right now. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child teaser trailer by Warner Brothers. And we're going to kind of pop in right now. We, 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 well, we got to turn the volume down because, you know, we don't want to get hit with a, with a goddamn uh, cop with a sound bite, copyright, whatever. It is. Like- there you go, that thing. So it well, looks fake. like. Oh, this is fake. Yeah, Never mind, folks. Yeah, yeah. This is fake. This is footage from different movies. and uh, Got played again. Why do you even want Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? Why you, not? Fuck Harry Potter, you, man. You know what? If he, if he was Harriet Potter, I'd probably bust his ass. Did you just say Harriet Potter? Yeah. Turn to a female. Hell yeah. Harriet Potter should dare to do this. <laughs> you know me and Cochino. <laughs> My God, I'm turning into you. <laughs> the Harry Potter was a nice touch, which it can happen because it can happen these days. So yeah, yeah everything is being gender swapped and shit. You know, every time we turn around, oh well, why can't we have women representation? Why don't you make your own shit, ladies? Make your own shit and do it better than what we are doing. Because I know y'all can do it. I mean, hell, look at all the women directors nowadays who are putting out some cool as shit. Season three, Je- Jessica Jones alone. Shit, that, that's. I that. I still need to catch up on those uh, Netflix. Well, now Mar- Disney shows. 
Um, they just put up Deadpool 1 and 2 and Logan. Yes, they did. And I watched uh, Logan last night just to see if they did it uncut. So the way they're doing it now is that, you know, you have to put in, if you, you know, the parent permission, you have to have like whatever code they set up. You know, your, your little badass kids just can't go look and say, oh, well, we're going to watch Deadpool and stuff like that. Be like this one punk from a long time ago, we used to play Hero Clicks with. I've had a fact of going to rant. May you hold this? Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to rant real quick. Now, if you have children and if you know that these superhero movies are rated R, don't take your goddamn kids to them. And then turn, if you take your kids to them, don't turn around and bitch and say, well, that's not a superhero. That's not how they act. There was this fool. I'm going to call him out. His name was Steve. We used to play Hero Clicks together. And his goddamn ass complained on Facebook after watching Deadpool. He, I still remember. When that, remember that night we went to go see Deadpool? He had him and his 1,000 goddamn kids there. Okay, during that time, they were all 14 and under. Now, obviously, he's never read the comic book. And if he would have read said comic book, he would have known that going to this movie that he was going to cuss, carry on. There's going to be some sex. There's going to be more cussing, more carrying on, lots of killing, lots of blood. Now, he goes on Facebook the next day, has the nerve. I can't believe that they would put out this kind of movie. This isn't what a true superhero is supposed to be like. This is some blasphemy bullshit. And God will probably punish those who are in charge. And okay, first of all, don't bring God to this. Second of all, fuck you. Third, fuck you. Fourth, fuck you. That's some bullshit. That's hard, goddamn. This is our, this is our shit. Adults get to have some adult time too. Plus, I was Fox during the goddamn time. Shit. Oh, go ahead, sir. I forgot about this post. Oh yeah, the God thing was made me laugh and chuckle a little bit because you know I I'm not like you. I don't call out people unless they need to be called out. But you know it's one of those things where people like that like it's like people who went to the Halloween movie, the Rob Zombie Halloween movie, thinking like oh well you know it's gonna be okay to go to the Halloween movie because you know it's rated R and it's a Rob Zombie film, so I don't know what to expect. But I'm gonna still take my children, and then when they take their children, then they're gonna be like oh my god, there's sex and there's boobies and there's this and that. Yeah, I want a refund. I'm like. The movie's called Halloween. It's directed by Rob Zombie. Yes, you know. It's a hardcore R. Yes. And we warned you before you even bought those tickets. Yes. I I, I remember when that movie came out. Just just the just the amount of people trying to have controversy about it. I mean, honestly, I think during that time people were just bitching just a bitch about that movie. I mean, they knew. I mean, it's it's funny when you see on, on social media, some of the people say, well, we knew it was rated R. We didn't know it was going to be like this. I'm sorry. If it's rated R, that means it's balls to the fucking wall. Those, those directors and those creatives are going to do whatever it takes to make sure they're telling not only a story, but to go all out with that rated R rating. Very true. Very true. But uh, I got to get wrapped up here. I got to get this little kid to the... Uh, library so she can read and I can read but this was fun this was a lot of fun thank you uh, Big Daddy for having me on thank you for throwing the mic on too and we just went and you interviewed me with that I don't know what kind of voice that was but <laughs> now you remember uh, Robot Chicken remember the boy he was they were talking about Star Wars oh go hand solo <laughs> it's wrong he said dude he kicked the movie <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks We wrapping this up This is Big Daddy Coming at you This is KMV The Sexy Ninja Remember Like and subscribe Share with your grandma Share with your grandpa Share with the Hell Share with the little old lady Behind Walmart Hell Might be you know, Might be her too You never know And the bum too This is just You know I was watching Old podcasts with us And uh, when I remember The hardest thing For you to ever do Was be like Welcome to the Social Vent Reboot Or you'd be like Welcome to the Social Um Network or something social like that. Podcast re yeah, I was like, welcome to the social network podcast reboot over there. Yeah, I was like, God damn. Uh. <laughs> then when we dropped the reboot, you were like, fuck that reboot. Then you went on, I have the audio. You went on and said, welcome to the social network. And I looked at you, I was like, social fucking net. We've been doing this for how goddamn long? You fuck call it the social fucking net? God damn. Putting too much fucking oil on that head of yours. <laughs> First of all, it's lotion. Second of uh, all, I see this big old bottle of fucking that's massage oil, boy. Uh.
I thought, I, I, thought, I, I thought it was canola oil or some vegetable oil and shit. I was like, what the what kind of freaky God. shit you doing up in here by yourself? I'm going to have to take a picture of this shit now, man. I am. I'm going to take a picture of this big ass bottle of massage oil that he thinks is canola oil. What did you think? You na- motherfucker. I'm not you. I, I, hey man, you're the one, and there's a towel under it. So I was just like, you. Oh, I even touched the towel. I don't know what kind of stuff you going in here. Oh, uh, drips. So you're dripping all over that fucking thing. All right, now like and subscribe, everybody. Came in the sexy ninja, and when in doubt, fuck your couch.